Uh, uh, sebab satu because of the a bit mature student. So when they go to the hospital they are very independent. So they they easy to complete the task at the hospital. Sebab dia dah yalah kita dah dah orang kata apa? Student yang dah matang kan. Uh, betul. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. Once again, welcome back to MSU Talks podcast. My name is Imran and I will be the host. So, all right. So I'm sure we've you know covered lots in the previous episode. And today we are going to be talking about a very specific or specialized topic. So I'm sure some of you are out there, all the SPM and STPM leavers are wondering, you know, I always have the passion of helping someone, right? Right, you got, you know, tiba-tiba rasa macam nak, you know, macam mana nak belajar, you know, how to learn the human, you know, and all how it, the body works, right? So without further ado, I would like to welcome our speaker for today, our guest, Mr. Hairul Nizam, the Deputy Dean of Student Affairs from the International Medical School of Management and Science University. So Nizam, how are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thanks Imran for inviting me for this uh, podcast in this session. Yes, Cik Nizam. Okay, right. I know you very well, sir. Okay. Yeah. Our audience tak kenal, sir. Tak kenal maka tak cinta. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> describe yourself, sir, to your audience, sir. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera. Uh, my name is Muhammad Hairul Nizam Ibrahim. Uh, so, you can call me Sir Nizam. Uh, so, normally students call me Sir Nizam. So, my background is basically I'm expert in the exercise medicine. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereby, uh, my responsibility here in MSU as the Deputy Dean of Student Affairs looking on the student welfare and also uh, any kind of that related with the students' activities and uh-huh. everything so on. So that is basically my first responsibility besides teaching students. So I'm also the lecturer uh, for uh, medical science students. Okay. Uh, specifically, I teach students for uh, muscular skeletal system. I'm sorry, uh, what sir? Muscular skeletal system. Ah. So that is basically the uh, subject that we are focusing on the muscles and okay. also your bone. Oh, so something okay. Yeah, all right. Empat belakang ni banyak ni semua. It's basically is includes in my subject. I see. Besides that, also I teach students for the first aid subject. Okay. And also in uh, in in uh, for medical science students also they learn a community service. All right. So that is also one of my subject. I yeah. see. So before we dive in any further, let's go a bit on the top. Mm-hmm. Right. What is medical science? Sir? Okay. So medical science is basically is a part of the. Well, we can say this once or the field uh, that uh, focusing on the uh, study of the human uh, uh, anatomy and also physiology and uh-huh. also in terms of the pathology of the human. Uh-huh. We basically we learn about the human human body uh, in terms of the structure, in terms of the uh, functions, and also at the same time in the medical science also we learn about the pathological parts of it. Macam contoh kita nak tahu pasal penyakit in certain certain Betul. parts of the human body. For example, let's say uh, kita ambil contoh uh, muscles, right? right? For muscles, also we need to know what kind of the uh, disability, this um, abnormality that can ah. be occur at parts of our muscles. Uh, so right. itu juga yang dibelajar oleh student medical science. But cuma uh, perbezaan medical science with the medical, maybe medical. we are going to uh, uh, explain details later about the differences about medical science and medical course and BBS di MSU ni. Yes. So medical science ni is much more on the preclinical lah. Preclinical. Preclinical. So it's like before the medical science. Is it? Okay. Something? For MBBS, basically we have two component, which okay. is preclinical and clinical. All right. So preclinical, we study about the human top, uh, uh, human body, which is includes the anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, okay. and uh, microbiology, macam macam lah on the preclinical. And then after that, during the third year, they're going to go to the hospitals, and ah. that is basically the clinical parts. Oh, I see. Uh, so, medical science ni, uh, mereka tak ke hospital lah. Meaning to say, they're not um, uh, having the experiences with the patient I and see. also on the clinical side. Yeah. So, when we talk about the, you know, there are many, I'm, I'm sure there are many branches mm-hmm. of medical science. Kind of mm-hmm. So, like, how many, how many courses or programs related that is provided? From, uh, IMS. Uh, from IMS. Okay, from IMS, International Medical School, we have uh, uh, for the bachelor uh, program, Uh, we have a uh, bachelor medical science. Okay. Uh, for the diploma, we have a diploma medical science. All right. And on top on that, we also have an MBBS program, which is a medical degree uh, okay. for those who like to be a doctors. Aha, so, kita yes. punya program di sini, kita panggil MBBS lah. MBBS. Uh, bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. Surgery, all uh, right. So, that is basically uh, another degree beside we have a medical science. And to support these two program, we have a foundation in medical science. Ah, so, it's uh, very holistic. So, for example, if I want to be an MBBS, <coughs> I can go through foundation yep 
bachelor's yep. and then MBBS. Yes. Anyway. So we, we, we have a good pathway for our students. For example, for example, let's say when we talk about the entry requirement for you to enter MBBS, they are looking about the SPM okay. if you entry from foundation. Okay. Uh, so they are the basic sikit lah. For example, let's say if you want to go from foundation. Okay, foundation. Okay, foundation, for example, from foundation, you want to go to MBBS. All right. They are looking at your SPM. Oh, so SPM from ni, all over I, there. Yes. Okay. So for example, let's say your SPM is not fulfill the cri- criteria. Okay. Right. So what you can do if another option is you take a degree. Oh. So your degree is you take a foundation. Foundation in Medical foundation science? medical science you do your bachelor medical, medical science, science and then, then you go for MBBS ah uh, perjalanan jauh tapi pada masa yang sama kita dapat mengecapi impian kita untuk jadi doktor because sometimes some of the students also uh, because uh, when we look about the SPM dia perlu 5B okay Uh, so that is basically 5 Bs physics chemistry bio okay. math and maths and under the satu subject math and maths oh, yeah so. for example let's say biology dia biology SPM C. tu contohlah terkehil sikit kan okay uh, so dia dapat C but the other subject is good A plus and everything is on so still they cannot proceed because to MBBS because of the requirement uh, i see so what we can assist them to give these kinds of the pathway they do a foundation do the bachelor and then after that do another degree MBBS. How long does that? How how many years is for that? For foundation is one year. Okay. Uh, one medical year. science is uh, three years, and MBBS full year is five five years course. Five years. Yeah, so bayangkan lah, be... satu tahun campur tiga tahun. Empat. <laughs> Maksudnya empat campur lagi lima sembilan tahun. Sembilan tahun. Uh, sembilan tahun lah. Oh jadi doktor that kan? That is a lot. Uh, huh? Tapi kita di sini in 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 at at, at MSU we have lots of uh, success story with oh, these yeah. types of the students. So maksudnya ramai student-student kita yang sebenarnya tidak mendapat peluang pada awalnya. Oh, Tapi kita bantu with that pathway then they could complete their study. Dia boleh jadi um, doktor pada akhirnya. Kita ada juga doktor yang complete MBBS um, with the age of 30 years, 35 years but now they are very successful. Because of the... Uh, know, sebab satu, because of the bit mature student. So when they go to the hospital, they are very independent. So they they easy to complete the task at the hospital. Sebab dia dah, yalah kita dah dah orang kata apa? Student yang dah matang kan. Betul. Uh, sebab um, when we talk about the medical cost ni we need to ensure that the candidate must be mature in terms of giving a decision. Sebab yalah kita for example as we deal with life and that of the patient. True. So we need to make sure that we know what types of the treatment that treatment we need to give. Procedures. Yes. Lepas so we need to have a good decision making. Right. So okay, just now we were talking about if the person, if the student is not uh, not able to, you know, they are, they don't have the requirement and mm. they have to start the long way lah in a way. Mm-hmm. What happens if they do have the criteria? Okay, for example, let's say if they do have the criteria, they fulfill 5 Bs in right. their XPM, so they can do uh, foundations okay. for one year. And then after that, from the foundation, they can proceed to do uh, MBBS straight away. Straight away. Uh, straight away. Maknanya setahun saja foundation. And then after that, with the CGPA of a 3.0. And then after that, they can uh, uh, apply and then terus masuk MBBS lah for five years. Huh. Uh, Does that foundation has to be from MSU or foundation it can or be, It can be from other matriculations. Okay. Uh, basically, to enter uh, pre-U courses mm-hmm. in, uh, uh, I mean, in uh, for MBBS uh, uh, program, uh, we accept uh, other pre-U's also. Ah. Dia ada banyak lah sebenarnya. Uh, ada yang from matriculation, Uh, ada pre-U, ada A-levels. Okay. Uh, so meaning to say that pre-U university, they got a few of the options that they can they can uh, choose before they do MBBS at MSU. Uh, maksudnya so, kalau kita matriculasi di contoh lah, okay. matriculasi uh, Johor contohnya, okay. we still can accept. Even though it's not from MSU. Ha, dengar tu. Uh, Johor, ha, matriculasi Johor, yeah. kalau nak datang join boleh. Tak ada yeah, masalah. Boleh, ha. boleh. Tak masalah. Okay, so kita tadi dah ada cerita lah pasal <coughs> in terms of the programs kan. Eh. Tadi, I'm very interested nak dengar hmm. lebih kepada MBBS tu. So, apa lagi yang boleh kita korek? Okay, sikit. untuk MBBS ni, uh, the best about MBBS in at MSU itself, mm-hmm. uh, untuk makluman semua sekali, uh, we have two main campus. Two right, main right, campus. Two main campus okay. for MBBS program. So, one is at uh, our offshore campus in uh, Bangalore. Bangalore, okay. Bangalore, di Bangalore, India. Oh, right? Oh, India. And also, Yalah, di, di Shah Alam sendiri lah. Okay, betul. Di our main campus ni. So, mm-hmm. meaning to say that uh, the students when they are doing their 
foundation in medical science, they have about one year to think where or which uh, campus they want to choose. So they uh-huh. can choose either Shah Alam ataupun India. This is during their foundation. During their foundation. Yes. Ataupun sebelum tu, dia boleh decide sebab kita akan advise the student. So you have two options. You can go to India, you can go to either Malaysia uh, to complete your MBBS course. If let's say you want to get uh, more exposure, more, um, I mean, to dig more about the uh, medical, right? Specifically, uh, India is the best place. India uh, sebab India ni they got lots of uh, you know even dulu pun kita selalu dengar kan tempat antara negara yang paling banyak mengeluarkan doktor-doktor yang hebat adalah di India antara salah satunya lah so uh, that's why also f- uh, if I'm not mistaken we choose MBBS uh, at Shah Alam I mean uh, in in at Bangalore itself okay so yeah. macam let's say um, if they do their what is the difference between a graduate from Bangalore and graduate from Shah Alam it's sebenarnya sama saja. In terms of the delivery of the curriculum, everything is the same. Exam yang sama, in terms of the delivery yang sama. And then if let's say we we talk about the what are the students in Malaysia need to do, mm-hmm. insyaAllah uh, Bangalore pun akan buat benda yang sama. For example, let's say kita ada gems kat sini. Alright. Okay, student kat sini, uh, kita ada certain terms, we call it a graduate employability skills, whereby the student need to do lots of activity that related with the soft skills. Yes, indeed. So, insyaAllah, they have a minimum requirement for the GEMS points and everything and so on. Bangalore yes. pun sama. So meaning to see that there is no difference. Cuma in terms of the environment. Ah. Uh, environment. Cuba cerita sikit. Environment macam mana ni kat uh, Bangalore ni? India ni, kita duduk di India lah. And okay. the lecturers is, uh, all of the lecturers is uh, from India. Okay. It's a local lecturers. And then at the same time, um, all the facilities. So in the facilities there, we have uh, our 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 uh, partner university, Ramaya University. Uh, they have a very good facilities and at the same time for the clinical student akan attach the hospital clinical hospital di sana Ooh, yang kita okay. letakkan so meaning to say that in terms of the exposure student ni akan dapat very good and direct exposure from the local uh, uh, professor there so kalau di Syed Alam pun sebenarnya tak, tak, tak ada uh, kurangnya Betul. they have a very good experience doctor and everything so on cuma kita akan di attach di hospital kerajaan di Malaysia Uh, seperti mana tu? Uh, kalau dia kalau dia di uh, Shah Alam ni kita ada hospital Sungai Buloh, Sungai Buloh, hospital Shah Alam, Shah Alam, hospital Kelang, Kelang, ada juga hospital Kajang. Kajang. Oh, uh, okay. So alhamdulillah di Malaysia uh, di di MSU uh, Malaysia ni kita ada banyak hospital yang kita bekerjasama. Yang paling yang dekat yang empat tadi itulah yang kita hantar student kita. Understood. So inilah mereka time yang mereka pergi waktu year 3 eh? waktu year clinical year three, uh, you were speaking about tadi student activities hmm. kan do I uh, inilah stereotype sikit lah yeah. I did my research and semua kan yeah. keluar all these stereotype orang kata doktor adalah one of the first pop out the list No. Dia tulis doktor <laughs> tak ada live. Betul ke ni? Ah uh, itulah orang kata perkelebihan student-student di MSU ni. Wah. Uh, so when we talk about the medical graduate from our university from hmm. MSU, I can say that our our graduate they are very holistic. They are very so, very balanced and very well rounded. For example, as we talk about the students activities, right? We emphasize the student to go and to do lots of activity even for the community um, services also in community engagement kita letakkan sebagai satu syarat kepada semua student untuk buat okay. uh, even we have a mentoring session so yes. all of the mentoring session they need to do the community service and at the same time kita ada mobility program we have a mobility program where the student have the experience to go outside for our program in MBBS itself a uh, student can do their elective posting during year 4 di luar negara Antaranya kita ada student yang pernah buat uh, elective posting di United Kingdom. Oh. Uh, uh, akan datang ni akan ada student yang ke Korea. It, this elective posting elective is posting. for MBBS. Okay, uh, yes, MBBS for uh, medical science students. They can uh, participate in our mobility program. Kita ada global leadership program, okay. global mobility program, whereby they can do their uh, internship at the other country. Kita ada juga student medical science kita yang buat uh, internshipnya di India. Ah, uh, di Ramaya okay. University antaranya dan beberapa universiti di sana so when they do their clinical posting mm. from luar negara do they still get like macam they still they graduate you will say in in Malaysia lah uh, they, they basically it's just attachment <coughs> sahaja ah, lah it's I just see. part also of the experience while they 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 have uh, they, they, they undergo their learning experiences here cuma dia kira macam is part of their learning experiences degree dia tidaklah dia dapat degree dia di sana uh, degree still lagi degree kita degree. cuma one component kat situ internalization but kalau dia orang uh, kalau let's say if they finish their MBBS in Bangalore akan hmm. ditulis lah Bangalore at their 
whole what's it in the MBBS whole title mm-hmm. as a graduate it will, will it like right dia, as Bangalore? Kita kat sini standard je semua so, orang kita letak MBBS dia ah. uh, kita tak letak specifically and everything so on because um, why is basically um, even yelah kalau kita tengok pun we are not focusing about where is basically you finish your study mm-hmm. either kat UK ke sama je kan uh, Malaysia pun tak kurang hebatnya so memang kita punya degree either you are graduated from our Shah Alam campus or Bangalore campus uh, degree make sama je ok lah juga kan sama Kata je uh, cuma juga. dia punya experience tu lebih sikit di luar negara kan Ah, uh, uh, in the sense of a bit different lah in okay, cultural differences yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. tapi as the deputy dean for student affairs kan mm-hmm. so all these activities and so juga what is the what is it ah? the sel- boleh nampak kan hmm. antara semua student-student ni apalah hmm. karakteristik yang selalu nampak dalam medical student ni yang you nampak untuk medical student it's basically yang paling penting sekali is on the communication skills lah yep. uh, sebab when we deal with patient kan kita kena tahu macam mana kita nak bercakap dengan patient sebab macam uh, for example let's say if you want to club uh, case and everything so on kita kena tahulah actually how is basically we want to get the history from that patient uh, so the communication is very important and at the same time we need to make sure that the student know how to manage that time right and then at the same time yang macam saya cakap tadi is on the decision making so that's why we encourage the student to do the activities because when they are doing the activities mm-hmm. they need to manage a team so they need to manage a, a program whereby uh, they need to you know planning it, uh, at the first place they need to do the proposals and then after they execute the activities and everything so, so we train the student how to cope with the stress huh. uh, nak kena we train them from the beginning so coping with the stress is basically if ask me we need to train ourselves how to handle with that so kalau contoh for example let's say kita tak pernah ada pengalaman stress kan uh-huh. tiba-tiba stress oh, tak tahu nak buat apa uh, itu yang jadi macam ramai orang depression now we know that we got lots of uh, mental issue even we have heard about recently ada juga medical officer di hospital kan yang hmm. ada masalah-masalah sedemikian yang tidak hmm. boleh menghadapi stres di tempat kerja. So that's why in MSU we expose the student with that kinds of the situation. Hmm. Kita bagi dia orang uh, time for them to conduct the activity and everything so on supaya dia orang dah, dah biasa dah stres tu. Uh-huh. Uh, macam mana nak buat activity, activity semua kan. Betul, betul. Uh. And I'm sure uh, our audience of them are really curious eh. Hmm. Uh, Rizal, kan? hmm. Apa any activities yang kita, I mean student from IMS yang telah ada lah. Okay, yang, yang, events, yang saya so? boleh share lah kan. Oh, boleh silakan. Then, satu yang saya rasa is a, is a one of our flagship program mm-hmm. is My Coral program. My Coral. Uh, My Coral. My Coral is basically a MSU eco project uh, oh. whereby we focusing on the coral restoration. Ah, uh, so okay. kita ada kita kita dah start from 2016 lagi. 2016. Daripada, okay. Yes, it's before COVID lagi. So even COVID pun we, the project is still ongoing sampai sekarang. We do every year monitoring. We send the students to do the restoration every year. Recently, bulan sembilan, uh, bulan tujuh hari itu, we send about 102 students. That is uh, a lot of students. Yes. Yeah. So we do the restoration. At the same time, we do health screening. Uh, di kampung. Oh, health screening. Uh, yes. Kampung. Because ah, uh, yeah, that is basically. Which area was that? The um, kalau restoration area ni di Pulau Gelok Terengganu. Pulau Gelok Terengganu. Okay, tetapi di uh, untuk health screening tu kita buat beberapa tempat di Telaga Papan. Okay. di kawasan Setiu lah basically ah, okay. di kampung so Mangkuk the, the area over there lah so. yeah, betul my coral so but my coral is basically the current lah in under the sea you know, yeah, so. betul okay, sebab kita melibatkan our alumni students ah. yang juga staff yang pandai dive okay. so dia basically kita kita involvekan juga orang yang tak boleh dive dengan boleh dive so yang tak boleh dive ni dia akan uh, planting the coral at shore nanti dia akan ikan and everything so on nanti diver akan bawa the frame tu underwater Uh, so we work as a team lah basically. So it's been like for seven years and so lah. Uh, how how dah, was it from how how so is al- the first one the first thing? Alhamdulillah, kalau ikutkan uh, we have received lots of uh, Alhamdulillah lah, we have received lots of awards on that. Uh, even in uh, invention uh, competition also we we won gold in ITEX, MTE, and then after that recently we receive a highly recommend for uh, uh, apa ni? Green Gown International uh, Green Gown Award. Ah. Uh, so kita ada Alhamdulillah untuk kita punya projek micro ni we have received lots of recognition local and international uh, I've, I did a bit of my research mm. because I noticed that we have an MBR so what is that MBR? Few oh for MBR. everyone's information yeah. MBR stands for Malaysian Book of Records yeah. uh, and we said something so what yes. is it? so untuk MBR <laughs> under IMS ni we have uh, we have a break few okay. right? antaranya uh, is basically we have the largest simultaneous health screening kita buat huh. Uh, selama 2 hari 2 hari uh, tak silap saya masa tu sebab saya ingat-ingat lupa sebab dah lama kan sebab okay. if I not mistaken sebab 
we we receive about 15000 of uh, people involved within two days two days 24 hours i mean um, tanpa henti tanpa henti simultaneously uh, so kita buat di beberapa tempat yang tadi KLIA kita buat uh, di sekolah so kita buat free health screening kita buat free health screening tu kepada all the community so we got the data and record and everything so on lebih kurang tu lah berpuluh ribu lah masa tu Ooh. so kita buat memang student tak tidur lah malam tu we rotate lah ada yang kena ber- ber- bekerja malam ada yang bekerja pagi and everything so on but simultaneously and non-stop Now that Itu is satu. impressive. And that then after that, impressive. another Malaysia Book of Record yang kita buat is basically the throwing mud ball. Uh, uh, di MSU ni, di MSU ni kita ada sungai ke belakang tu kan? Sungai? Ah, sungai yang dah So, masalah. untuk untuk memelihara sungai tu, untuk membersihkan tu, kita throw the mud ball. The enzyme basically. Mud ball tu apa? Enzyme? Ya, yeah, mud ball tu daripada tanah tapi ada enzyme yang kita khususkan supaya bila okay. kita throw tu, dia akan membersihkan Uh, apa ni sungai tu secara semula jadi oh kalau saya maksudnya kalau saya punya kolam renang kat rumah kotor saya balik mat bol tu okey juga <laughs> tak boleh dah boleh semua. juga sebenarnya oh. tapi kita tengoklah keadaan kolam tu oh okey uh. mana lah tahu boleh, kan? boleh. Uh. so kan tadi kita ada cakap pasal kan pasal student activities kan hmm. tapi tadi saya pun tiba-tiba terdetik lah kan hmm. which is more popular sir? MBBS so, di Shah Alam or MBBS in Bangalore hmm. in terms of the records of students sir? okay kalau kalau di kalau in terms of choices from the student is Malaysia lah hmm. uh, sebab uh, mungkin in terms of the orang kata apa pemilihan why they choose Shah Alam more because dan selalunya pelajar-pelajar ni nak dekat dengan mak bapak nak duduk di Malaysia nak nampak KLCC kan okay. <laughs> so yeah. mungkin lah lebih banyak yang ni tapi for example yang betul-betul eager to know more details about the ni they 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 okay to spend more uh, tapi sebenarnya when we compare the what we call it the living expenses insyaallah dengan bengal lebih kurang sama saja uh. even though you we're doing abroad it's yep. still the same how yep. come uh, kalau contoh lah for example accommodation kan okay. di di insyaallah ni mungkin accommodation kita kena bayar dalam 400 lebih kat sana hmm. pun lebih kurang juga dalam 400 300 depends uh, makanan pun senang juga nak dapat kat sana so meaning to see in terms of the living expenses we can say that the equivalence between insyaallah and bengal campus so that's why we encourage more of the students to go to india because the exposure because the environment because of the what we call it the learning experiences over there you are deal directly with the lecturers from india and everything so on oh. uh, kalau boleh saya menggalakkan lebih ramai pergi ke ke india lah sebenarnya hmm. kalau tanya saya dah berapa kali dah, dah pergi bangalore saya uh, daripada start 2010 lagi okay. uh, paling lama saya pernah duduk kat sini 3 bulan lah. about three months staying there and then um, doing lots of activity with the students and then after that keep going there every year every month macam itulah uh, frequent visit frequent visit uh, uh, every time eh? but kita nak kena pastikan all the learning experiences for the student at Bangalore so dijaga jugalah understood so like macam although this is something curious lah I'm sure they are wondering sir as a fresh graduate hmm. or like after the MBBS what do they do sir untuk MBBS after they have finished the MBBS, MBBS memang totally they need to do houseman lah mm-hmm. houseman is about 2 years what is houseman? Uh, houseman is basically a clinical training uh, for those who graduated before they basically sebenarnya masa houseman ni dia memang dah bekerja lah sebenarnya dia bekerja dan basically dah dapat gaji uh, cuma they still under macam probation Understood. they ada contract lagi so about 2 years and then after that they complete and everything so on evaluated and then after that they become a medical officer Hmm. Since you say about gaji, kalau fresh graduate while well, they're doing housemanship, berapa tu? Estimate. Um, Just to give a bit of a highlight. Kelima, depends. Sebab dia ada macam medical, dia ada on-call hours, uh, allowance see. and everything. Basically, basic salary dia tak banyak, but they got lots of allowances. Itu if let's say, kalau nak lagi banyak gaji, we need to further study, be a consultant. Jadi specialist satu, gaji boleh berbelas-belas. Ha, yeah, itu uh, very interesting hmm. juga kan. Hmm. So, sir, Now we have come to the part of the segment where we like to, you know, answer some of the questions so, that we have from our social media IG oh, lah, okay, okay. sir. They have asked a few questions. So, right. everyone out there, if you have any questions mm-hmm. for our MSU podcast, mm-hmm. all right. So just drop them in our Instagram story, and then we will ask mm. our speaker to speak. All right. So now the first question they ask, <coughs> Chenizam, what is the difference between Health science and medical science. Oh, cuma ni dia tanya what health is the difference? Science, huh. Health science. Bio, dengan, sorry, dia tanya biomedical. So. Oh, biomedical science. Huh, biomedical that, science so? dengan uh, medical. Biomedicine lah. Hmm. Biomedical science. Okay. Uh, my first degree is basically in biomedical. Hmm. Uh, itu first degree saya. 
And then after that, uh, when we compare about the medical science and uh, biomedical, biomedical is more on the lab things. Maksudnya, we are doing more on the diagnostic. Uh, so, kita akan uh, analyze the samples and everything so on. So, that is basically more focusing about the biomedical. For the medical science ni, macam saya cakap tadi, is more focusing about the preclinical parts. So, we learn about the anatomy, physiology, more details, pathology and everything so on. So, in terms of the career pathway, uh, for students or graduating from the medical science ni, they can be uh, uh, medical specialists uh, in terms of the product, the uh, uh, equipment and at the same time, the orang ni juga boleh bekerja dengan with the insurance company because uh, insurance, they have a medical report. Right? So, to validate and everything so on, the medical science graduate can do that. I see. Mm. All right. So there are many options. Okay. If you have any other, you know, after this finishing MBBS or maybe BMS for bachelor's in mm. medical science, you have other options to do. All right. Mm-hmm. So next question. Mm. So Nizam, let's see. They ask also any financial aids available for our MBBS or biomedical oh, science untuk, students? Untuk MBBS uh, program, we have a PTPTN. Student can apply for the PTPTN and uh, if let's say Amara opening the the uh, offer, so they also can apply. Some of our students also uh, get a uh, a fund also from the Mara. And at the same time, also, uh, you can try to apply from the Yayasan in MSU. And also, um, you ha- can have a uh, uh, loan, fin- education and loan from Afin Bank that we have okay. in, 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 in Shalam. So, <clears throat> meaning to say that for you to further your cost in the MBBS, for me, financially, there is no issue. You can get lots of assistance from MSU. We are going to guide you and everything so on. That's mm. right, all right, everyone. So don't be alarmed, all right? Mm. If you, you know, if there is a will, there is a way, all right? Mm. Uh, so next question, sir. Let's go. Ha, dia tanya, ada asrama ke di MBB, di Bangalore, sir? Oh, Bangalore. Oh, okay. Ha. So Bangalore ni memang uh, all of the students we provide with the accommodation, right? Uh, tapi dia akan bayar sewa lah, sama juga. Okay. Cuma kita akan siapkan. Maksudnya, if any of the student enroll for this course, uh, before they fly to Bangalore, they need to do visa, and okay. they need to give their details and everything so on our officer over there will look on the accommodations there sebab accommodation kita memang di tempat yang sama ha, saya pun terdetik nak tanya uh, mana tu saya jauh tak dia tak jauh lebih kurang boleh katakan about 2.5 km saja from the campus uh, so sometimes it's a walking distance kalau okay. misalnya kata sebab macam Bangalore ni dia ada empat musim ya. uh, for example let's say if during the winter uh, season tu best lah jalan kaki sejuk wah wow. uh, uh, siapa yang nak rasa winter tu uh, nak rasa pakai Kod-kod tebal tu ha? boleh lah yeah, study yeah, dekat yeah. Bangalore sir. Ha. <coughs> okay sir, apart from since we're talking about hmm. Bangalore lah kan sir kan. Hmm. Uh, what is the, you know, what is your, you know, ada tak student-student pernah cerita kan. Hmm. Dia ada punya experience kan. Maksudnya, dia dah biasa kat Malaysia. Sekarang hmm. dia dah pindah sana. Ada tak pernah dia cerita sikit kat experience tu. Kat hmm. sana. Macam contohnya, for example, the student yang berada di Bangalore kan. Uh, they, they are very independent. Sebab di sana kita memang we we quite limited with the resources that normally we can have in Malaysia. Contohnya, contohnya kadang-kadang kita nak tengok wayang dekat Malaysia ni kan banyak panggung wayang. For Betul. Example. Okay. And then at the same time kadang-kadang kalau kita nak keluar 3-4 pagi mama every time ada. Any place got kan. <laughs> so cuma macam di sana tu there, there is certain things yang dia kena buat. And at the same time India ni we need to deal with the locality there. Right. So we we learn how to communicate with them. So that is also parts that we enhance the student's self-confidence. Uh, itu yang yang orang kata bila bila ke sana tu dia akan dapat totally dapat different uh, experience uh. okay since we, we talk after experience you know so mm. the last question that they ask is mm. senang ke dapat posting after MBBS eh, after MBBS maksudnya for that housemanship lah kan oh tak ada masalah sekarang um, recently uh, student yang baru graduate from our cohort they took about only 3 months dapat Oh, uh, placement. Dia selalu, selalu ni dalam before this so? is about um, six months, right? Six months, uh, about eight months. Tapi recently, it's only, I'm quite shocked. It's very short period, three months. I think because the new hospitals, lots of new hospitals set up now. And then after that, they need more doctors. Sebab tu sekarang ni pengambilan doktor tu semakin cepat. Uh, kita ambil masa lebih kurang tiga ke enam bulan lah. Understood. All right, sir. So I think we have covered the basic and all the necessary information mm-hmm. lah for to 
you know, to navigate their mm. pathway lah mm. to a medical career. Mm. So once again, thank you very much, right. Jai Rizam, right. to cover all about the internal med- medical school here in Management Science University. Right. Thank you very much. Sir. Right. So like all the students out there, if you are still wondering and want to inquire more about our international medical school, please don't forget to drop by MSU Edu Carnival 2023. We're still ongoing from the 4th of August up to the 30th August every day, including Saturdays and Sundays. All right. If you have any other queries, please do drop and our academic counselor will help you. Right. Once again, thank you and see you next time.